I just activated the third coil. Had to make a new one because the plastic spool broke on me. However, I used 20 wire with 26 on this one. The RPMs jump from 85 RPMs with two trigger coils to 105 on a 14 magnet neodymium magnet wheel. You can see the batteries charging even faster now. It's jumping around because this battery is about gone. However, I can use it as a drive battery or a primary battery with the with the battery charger on 2 amps. You can see that the primary battery is at 12.1. It's been there for a while. However, it's slowly draining the power out of this marine battery. What I'm trying to do is get this one up to the point that it uh, will become the primary battery and then I can go ahead and bring these two batteries up in a 24 volt setup. Now with three coils running, like I say, the RPMs have gone from 85 RPMs to 105. That's a significant gain. I have one more I'm going to put up on top. Hopefully that will drive it up to 125, and then I'll start building generator coils. My goal is to get 12 generator coils, maybe 14, with four trigger coils running the Bedini Pulse motor. Having fun with it, just seeing what it's going to do. Eventually, what I'll do is I'll run the generator coils in a series, and not have them charge batteries at all, then run the marine battery as the primary, then switch it to the pulse and back to the marine battery to keep the generator coils going. Bridge rectify those and then put it into a grid tie inverter so I make power at night when the sun's out. I have five solar panels that I've put up on the roof which could definitely charge the primary battery. Uh, I need to get a solar charger and run a, run a wire down from one of those and then that'll just hopefully run this indefinitely. And I'll just make a bunch of energy, grid tie it, and charge batteries at the same time. Beautiful.